Okay, I've got my pillow already in place for lumbar support and also to try and encourage me to sit up straighter because in these kinds of videos, I progressively just slouch and slouch further into the video. Hey guys, today I'm back with a try on haul video. These are things I've purchased over the past few months that I really wanted to talk about and share with you guys. It's not a massive, like huge, huge haul, but it's still a decent amount of things. And the things, like I said, I'm particularly excited to talk about and some of them I'd like to get your opinion on. Oh yeah, and some of these things I have shown in a video or maybe my Instagram or Instagram stories. If you um, don't follow those, Check out my Instagram. So that's everything I have to say for now. Let's jump into the video. I don't know which way my swiping transition goes. Okay, this way. I'm going to start off with some jeans. I actually saw a funny comment uh, come up on one of my videos recently. It said something like, jeans on Sophie? Who are you and what have you done with Sophie? Or like, who is this girl? I totally get that. I guess I haven't ever really been much of a jeans wearer and it just really goes to show the loyalty of some of you guys because I've definitely talked about how I don't really wear jeans in the past. But recently I've been just getting more into it. The only jeans I ever really wore in the past were my American Apparel high-waisted jeans and then I had a bit of a skinny jeans moment because I thought, oh, I could wear those with sweatshirts instead of leggings, but those were a very like short-lived time within my life. I really don't like the skinny jeans much anymore. But yes, I have been more inspired to wear jeans lately because I think they're just such a versatile item to have in your wardrobe. I could really go into like a whole video on the practicality of having certain things in your wardrobe, but I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> anyway, I did that video on finding the perfect pair of high-waisted jeans and I'm going to show these. These aren't part of the haul, but they are these jeans by Weekday. They are the Weekday Lash Jean and I love the fit of these so much. I actually want another pair of these, but they sold out but they did come in this dark denim with a contrast stitch. And I think this color is called, doesn't say. Just a heads up, they don't call them the lash jean in the title, which is so confusing. I actually just had to look at the photos and the description of the denim to realize that they were the same jean. These had a really weird title. I have to like insert a photo. I'm pretty sure I had a typo in it. I got them in two different sizes. I love the baggier fit of the bigger size, even though it does not fit my waist, but it is good for layering in winter because you can tuck things into the waist without it digging in. But then the more fitted ones that actually fit my waist properly, they have a really nice classic clean look to them. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you wanna hear me talk a little bit more about why the weekday lash is such a good fit on me, definitely check out my finding the perfect jeans video, which I think I already linked at some point and did I already link it? And future Sophie here with a voiceover because after filming this haul, I ordered the same weekday lash jeans, but in black as well. They're kind of a washed black. And unlike the other colors, these do have a slight stretch to the denim. So I had to size down. I have decided to keep these because obviously I love the fit and I just feel like I'm never going to find jeans that fit me this well again. But as I'm still fairly new to wearing jeans as part of my everyday wardrobe, I'm not yet sure how I style these black ones. So if you guys can think of any cute ways I should try wearing these with my current wardrobe pieces, feel free to let me know. I have another pair of pants to show you guys. These are high-waisted sweatpants. I picked these up off Misguided. I actually did a really big haul and I was considering just showing everything in the misguided haul, but I returned so much of it. I do have one other thing from that haul to show you shortly, but yeah, I only kept like two things. I actually went on there with the intention of finding high-waisted sweatpants, and I just had a feeling like, if anywhere's gonna have high-waisted sweatpants, it would be somewhere like misguided. So sure enough, they had them. They are actually by a kind of a misguided brand, I think. They're called New Season, and that is printed right down here. This is the only thing I don't like about them. I sort of didn't want them to have New Season printed on them, but it's not super noticeable, so I just kind of let it go. Plus, they, they had one of those like 50% off sales, and it's like everything on Misguided is always 50% off. You know, it's one of those websites where they deliberately double the price of everything, so everything can be 
constantly in a 50% off sale. They are super high-waisted, even on me. I'd even go as far to say they are maybe too high-waisted. I actually wouldn't mind if the rise was reduced a little bit because it would remove some of the fabric in the crutch because they are very baggy. There's a lot of fabric you'll see in the cutaways, but I kind of like it in that way because it's very exaggerated. And because they are so baggy, I think it's important to wear them as a high-waisted pant with a crop top or a fitted top on top <laughs> because then you can kind of really show off the waist something else i love about these is that they have the brushed fleece interior <laughs> you guys know how much i love this fabric oh and they are definitely like not the most flattering on the butt so if you want ones that are like Go to show off your like snatched body. These are probably not for that, but if you want something that's very kind of 90s, baggy, cute with the high-waisted fitted waist, they are good for that. <laughs> Next, I have jackets to show you guys. On my recent trip to the US, I wore this red bomber jacket. I actually borrowed it from my sister because I didn't own a lightweight winter jacket. Hers was relatively light and small and semi-crushable, I'm going to say, because you could crush it into a packing cube that was about this big, which is pretty small and way smaller and way lighter than all of my other winter jackets. They're just so heavy. So after that trip, it was like my second time borrowing that jacket. I thought I need to get one for myself. I couldn't get the same one as her. Hers is Uniqlo U. They don't sell it anymore. It's from a few years back. So my next option was Alpha Industries. They are very well known for their iconic MA1 jackets. And I already knew about the brand and I knew it would be a legit high quality brand because I'm gonna read this off the swing tag. It says, in 1959, Alpha Industries was commissioned by the Department of Defense to design and manufacture high performance outerwear for the US military. And then it just goes on to say about how they became a very iconic brand. They actually did use the word iconic in there. The only thing is they are not cheap, but anyway, I ordered a bunch online from somewhere that I could return to and get a full refund because I wanted to order a few different styles. I tried a slim fit style in red. It didn't have the classic bomber shape though. It looked more just like a classic jacket shape and it had more of a squared shoulder. And then I tried it in green, which was a really nice color too in a more classic bomber shape but that particular design was really expensive, so I didn't want to have to keep that one. I just kept thinking, surely someone online has this jacket for cheaper that I want. So I kept Google searching and somehow I came across MLTD. They had the classic red MA1 Alpha Industries jacket. They had a bunch of other stuff, but this particular one that I wanted was ridiculously reduced. And I thought it's gotta be fake. It's too good to be true. I looked over the whole website. It looked still really legit. You know, they had an address in California. They had a contact number. They seemed very real. And I went online and read through a whole bunch of forums and everyone said they were legit. So I went ahead and ordered it in a size men's small. I had already determined this was the size that fit me the best from the other ones I tried. It's the classic fit and the color is almost identical to my sister's. This one has a slightly more iridescent quality when it's in the light. It does have the bright orange lining though, which I wasn't totally sure about, but you cannot see it at all when you're wearing it. Cause I thought, oh gosh, this doesn't really look right with the orange, like am I, is it gonna show in my outfits? But it doesn't at all. So I'm very, very happy with it. It's just such a high quality piece. I don't think I will ever see this exact jacket for such a low price again. So I'm really, really glad I grabbed it. Sorry, that was a little bit of a monologue there telling you guys how that all went down, but it's not over yet. <laughs> I did order another Alpha Industries MA1 bomber jacket, but in the Navy NASA edition. And just hear me out. <laughs> Basically, this was the other style that I really wanted because my other idea I had in mind was to get the jacket in navy because I still really like the navy. It goes well with my complexion. It goes really well with pretty much everything in my wardrobe, but it's not going to be twinning with my sister whenever we hang out. So I found this one on Revolve that shipped to Australia for free and also had free 30 day returns and also had a coupon code so I could get it for a little bit less than some other websites, including Urban Outfitters, which I looked at. The thing is Urban Outfitters sell these slim fit but Revolve have the classic fit, which I prefer. It has a more rounded cocoon shape in the sleeve and the body. You've got more room for layering. It also has these NASA patches, which make it a little bit more unique. And you guys know how much I love NASA 
motifs <laughs> or NASA branded clothing. So what I'm thinking is that I have my bargain jacket in red and then I have my one kind of splurgy jacket in the navy that is one that will be unique to me. That's my train of thought. I could totally still return this one and keep that one or I'm, I'm pointing over there because the red one's sitting over there <laughs> but I could also have the red one dry cleaned. I could resell it and then just keep this one. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, but either way, I love these jackets and they are so warm and so well made. Really, really nice. Next, I have a few sweatshirts slash sweaters. Now you would have already seen one of these. <laughs> yeah, one of these, of course I have two, in my uh, most recent styling video slash lookbook for 2000s handbags. I wore the cropped version of this, but I also got it in a bigger size to wear it as an oversized sweatshirt. It's this oversized Mickey Mouse sweatshirt I got from ASOS. Now the one from my other video, the cropped version, is a men's extra extra small. I had my friend turn it into a cropped sweatshirt for me. And then this is the large or extra large, which I'm not cropping because I've been wearing it as an oversized sweatshirt with leggings. So yeah, just wanted to show this to you guys. I absolutely love it. It was kind of hard to get this size because it kept selling out. If they have any still in stock, of course, I will link them below, but I love the kind of 90s sporty look of the print on the front. It's so cute. And I love that it's black because I don't have a good black oversized sweatshirt, but now I do. Remember how I said I did a big misguided order and I only kept two things? This is the second item I kept aside from the sweatpants. It's this oversized but cropped sweatshirt in this kind of stone wash fabric. It actually reminds me a lot of my oversized t-shirt that I have. They look like they could almost be the exact same. Actually, I know it is stonewashed because I ordered the matching shorts. They just didn't look good on me, so I returned those. But when I put my hand in the pocket of them when I was trying them on, they had a little stone inside. Anyway, it has um, the loop pile fleece interior. Obviously not my favorite, but I don't mind for the particular style of this and the way the fabric drapes, it does work with the thinner type of fleece because if it was thicker, it would probably puff out a lot more and not sit quite right. So I really like this and it will be nice for those transitional seasons. If any of you guys have exceptionally good memory and you watch all my recent travel vlogs from the US, I went to the opening ceremony store and I tried on this cropped knit sweatshirt. Technically a knit is a sweater and if it's not a knit it's a sweatshirt so I guess it's a sweater. But anyway I tried on this sweater and in the video I think I said I really like it but I'm gonna wait for it to go on sale or something. This is really nice but I might wait till it goes on sale. It did go on sale throughout the months but it wasn't low enough and then most recently it went down to 40% off and then for Labor Day I think they had an additional 20 or 30% off everything, including sale items. So I got the top and one other thing in that order, which I will show next, but I absolutely love this. It is just so unique, kind of interesting design and you could almost wear it reversed because look on the inside, like this is so cool. And I just realized, I think what all the locations have in common, except for opening ceremony, I don't know what the significance of that is. Maybe you guys can share in the comments. All like things made out of, stone, all things that are made by humans out of stone, or things that are maybe made by aliens. If you can figure out the meaning or what they all have in common, please leave it in the comments below. I feel like I kind of get the gist of it, but there might be another layer of meaning that I'm just missing out on. I'd say the top runs large though. This is an extra small, and I specifically chose an extra small because when I tried this on in the opening ceremony store, I remember it ran very big and it was not very cropped. I think I tried on a small or a medium. I'm pretty sure it was a small and it was like barely cropped at all. So I did size down. Anyway, I love this top. It is so awesome and just goes to show that if you pick the right item that hopefully isn't too popular and doesn't sell out, you can just wait and it will go on sale. And the second item I ordered from opening ceremony is another opening ceremony tote bag because I just love these bags so much. I have my wireless headphones attached because I've already been using this as my gym bag. I had to empty it out to show you guys, but I might unclip these so you can kind of get a better look. But it's in this kind of split tone, split color design with the red and blue. It's got the white embroidered opening ceremony logo on the front pocket. And of course the little embroidered recycle logo on the back. Such a practical bag for a variety of uses. 
I just love these totes. And because it was also part of the Memorial Day sale, I also got this discounted for like 30% off or whatever it was, so. Next item you would have also seen in my most recent styling video, but it is this pair of super chunky white sneakers. They have kind of a boot look to them as well. The design of the sole and also these um, eyelets, what would you call them? Now I'm not going to launch too far into my thoughts on the whole feel a disruptor trend because rest in peace the days where I got to wear those sneakers without everybody else wearing them. That was like end of 2014 was when I got my first pair. 2017 I think was really when it began. Now everyone has them. The other day I was at Starbucks, I saw a, like a 13 year old walk by and she was wearing them. That being said, I have to put a disclaimer here though. I totally encourage people to wear whatever they want, regardless of trends, because if you like something, you should wear it. Chunky white sneakers are still very trendy and I'm still wearing them. I just wanted them to be a tiny bit different to the feel of Disruptor. But yeah, my point is enjoy things before you die. That's what I say. You don't want to have any regrets in life. It doesn't matter if you wear something trendy. Everyone is following trends, trust me. Even if you own an iPhone, that's kind of trendy. You know what I mean? That's clearly a choice to use Apple products. I still wear my Feeler Disruptors because they are a practical and comfortable shoe. But to me, these are an alternative. These took a lot of breaking in. I actually bought shoe stretches to really get them nice and comfy. They go with everything. I love how chunky and boot-like they look. I kid you not, I bought a second pair of these. So when these cock it, I'll break those out and start breaking them in. I did see one girl wearing these a month ago, I think, on the street. So just FYI, they're not that unique, obviously. I'm not saying they are. They're just, to me, an alternative chunky white sneaker to have. And they are so, so versatile. I love these shoes. If you guys would like me to make more of these, I definitely can. They're pretty quick and easy to make so I can upload them more often. Give the video a thumbs up to let me know. It's a really easy way for me to tell if you guys want to see more of a type of video also, if you are new, I would love if you would subscribe. I make fashion and styling content and hauls like this all the time, so definitely check out my recent videos as well. You can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter. My handles will be right here on the screen. I've been more active on my Insta stories recently as well, so be sure to watch those. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.